hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to start a new tutorial for microsoft intune mem interview question and answer so in this tutorial i will be covering up interview questions and answers related to intune so this is a part of one video where i will be covering up the basic questions that questions count will be 10 and my the each video will be cover up 10 10 questions related to your interview so uh, there will be a almost 9 to 10 videos will be coming up soon uh, related to your interview. So let's get started with the first video. So here I created some interview tips when you are presenting yourself in an interview or you are giving the interview. So you have to consider those few things. So uh, take minimum time for your introduction when you are giving the interview so just take 5 to 8 minutes and finish your introduction like yourself, your work experience and your technologies you worked out. Now second thing is explain your additional skill set so don't forego to explain your skill set what the extra you are doing apart from the Intune uh, like you worked on the KQL you know the PowerShell you know the Power BI or you know the something else and you are the current learning what you are studying if you are uh, taking a training somewhere or if you are doing the online courses so just tell to your interviewer that i am doing uh, this learning currently and you are the future planning for what you are trying to achieve uh, if you want to write any uh, certificate or you are planning to achieve something else so you can just explain your agenda like future planning now second thing is to listen carefully and ask answer smartly so first listen carefully the questions and answer in a minimum word don't explain it in a huge way or don't give the story kind of thing in your answer now ask the twice if uh, if not clear with the questions if you are not clear with the questions then you can ask and you please repeat the questions uh, still i am not understanding so you can ask two three times for the questions if you are not clear now answer only if you know the answer uh, if you don't know the answer just don't give any random answer or don't guess something might it will be like that so if you don't know just uh, answer them i know something about it but i have not worked on this part any questions related if you don't know now here is a be confident with your answer once you when you are answering be confident don't be it's like a answer diplomatically answer okay might be this will work and then so confident uh, when you answers your questions now here is the question list what I will be covering up in this video what is Microsoft Intune or uh, the Intune benefits Intune license Intune architecture Intune upgrades platform uh, supported by Intunes like the operating system, Intune integration with the SSEM or Intune devices, what are the ports you required when you configure, uh, when you enroll the device into Intune, the supporting operating system version and Intune console prerequisite. So all these are the basic questions which might the interviewer ask or might not, but you should know all these questions and answers. So let me move it to the first question. What is the Microsoft Intune? So Microsoft Intune is a cloud-based endpoint management solution and the co-managed, it can be the co-managed with your on-prem infra that is called the configuration manager. It help organization manage and secure your device and the application. So you can secure your device and applications. So it's include the two things MDM and MAM so mobile device management and mobile application management and you can secure and protect your the company information the way user access and the share the information so I have the detailed videos on it in the on the MEM tutorial the Intune tutorial you can go and you can watch more detail about it so implement compliance policy and the device and the app applications and for your the security requirements so you can create a compliance policy uh, uh, to um, uh, compliance policy for your devices or for your the uh, applications you can protect your app and uh, you can create a configuration profiles you can put the conditionally access and you can do the many things with the intune 
now here is the what are the benefits we'll get or the what are the services uh, intune will deliver for you so intune uh, will deliver like a application deployment so this is the major part for the delivery application deployment software update like the we called the patches also patch deployment it can do for you auto autopilot and you can secure your data by implementing the policies uh, and uh, you can implement the compliance policy whether the device is compliance or not based on your compliance rule or based on your company rules and regulations and it can support for hello for business uh, instead of password uh, zero trust uh, remote and the hybrid worker so there are the many features but the majorly it's for your application deployment software update deployment autopilot and uh, for your the compliance policies so there are the many things we can deliver with the intune i have not write it all there is a separate video you can go by uh, uh, you go to back to my the youtube channel and there is a uh, intune tutorial you can just go there and you can get the more details so this is just like a short answers now if we talk about the licensing in intune so we have three four types of license that is a category called microsoft intune plan one so intune plan one you can get uh, under the when you purchase the e5 license microsoft e5 or e3 or the microsoft 365 business premium or microsoft 365 f1 f3 uh, Microsoft 365 government uh, G3 G5 and the education so if you need the Intune license you can purchase any one of the license from this category if you want to manage the Intune plan 1 Intune plan 2 uh, will cover up all the features from the Intune plan 1 and the endpoint management capabilities if we talk about the Intune suite, which is recently launched, so it's add-ons on the Intune Plan One, and uh, the from the Intune Plan One and the mission critical advanced endpoint and the security solutions. So that will comes under your the Microsoft Intune suite, and Intune license you can get it from this Microsoft 365 Education E3 and the E5 version. So from there also you will be uh eligible to access your intune and you can use all the features if you have one of the license from here now this is the intune architecture how the intune works so intune can be integrated with your ssem and uh, with the co-management and but here i am explaining not the co-managed article i am explaining you the how the intune is work so here you can see the active directory once you enroll a, any devices it will authenticate the authentication process will happen through the azure active directory once you are in a device enrolled to azure ad then based on your the connector or the filter the device will move it to the intune once the device will move it to Intune, it will push a certificate um, that is a secure certificate to the device. Once the certificate is enrolled to the device, then Intune will push all these default policies or your the custom policies to the device. Like what type of the policies will push the config, uh, the configured device profile and uh, the configuration profiles your app protection profiles your device compliance policy and your the app configuration profile so all these policies immediately push on your device if you have the custom uh, policy so you need to add the device on a particular group then the policy automatically pushed to your intune device and then your device will be enrolled to the Intune. So like uh, uh, that's how the Intune works. And here we have a graph option as well. Through the graph, you can access your Intune data. You can play with whatever you want. So graph can be used inside your PowerShell or the Python, wherever you wanna use it, you can use it. Or directly also you can access your the graph to pull the data now here is the intune upgrade so many people ask me like what about if the any new intune version came uh, what will happen who is going to upgrade and what is the client upgrade how it's going to work so 
the uh, related to the upgrade question intune is a cloud based uh, that is a saas application so microsoft will upgrade intune version whenever it's released suppose uh, microsoft has released a new version for intune then microsoft will update it on their database and then automatically your console will upgrade because you you not own the infrastructure for intune but if we talk in terms of sscm so you own the infrastructure for sscm infrastructure is on prem so you have to upgrade your sscm but intune in this case you no need to upgrade your infrastructure that microsoft automatically it will upgrade your console so your uh, organization should not be worried about any of the upgrades if it is there that will be taken care by microsoft now the platform supported by intune so what what type of platform intune supports so intune supports your windows infra uh, your ios or uh, ipad os mac os android devices chrome os that is under preview it's not in completely in the production and the linux devices so if uh, if your interviewer ask you question uh, what we can manage like uh, only we can manage the windows devices or something else so you can answer them uh, we can support windows ios uh, ipad mac os android devices chrome and the linux so these are the supported platform now here is a sscm integration so you can integrate um, your intune with the sscm that process called a co-management so with the co-management you can uh, integrate both the applications and you can define your the workload as i shows us here so by choosing the co-management feature intune will integrate with sscm to share the, the workload so and uh, uh, yeah this is a very big topic to explain like what is the co-management and all so co-management is something used to integrate both these application to share their the workloads so here is a workload screenshot if you go for the workload configuration manager or the pilot in tune or the totally in tune so it's up to your company how you are uh, how you will be sharing your workload uh ssm workload with the intune so if you want the totally configuration manager so you can move it here if you want the pilot you can move it <clears throat> in between if you want uh with the intune so you can put it in tune and now here if you have selected the intune pilot so you you have to uh, mention the uh, collection name as well if you selected only the intune so collection will not be come to the picture so best practices move it in mid of that the pilot intune so you can share your workload uh, uh, you can share the 50 50 workload with the sscm and intune now let's move it to the eighth question intune device uh, required port what are the ports is required so uh, this this question ask uh, many many people ask me this question so allow access all host via the uh, http and the https so you should have the access uh, or your port should allowed for the http and the https 80 and the 443 and uh, suppose you have the proxy server in your infrastructure if it is blocked some of these sites and uh, it's uh, your traffic is not going out in that in that scenario you should access uh, all, all these um, what you called uh, all these urls through the proxy server if you have if you don't have the proxy servers then no need to open anything it will directly access so these are uh, recommended by the microsoft now intune supported operating system version so in last we talked about what type of the platform it will support and now we are just digging into more in depth in the windows so if you're supporting the windows so minimum windows version is 1709 that is rs3 and the latter version windows 8.1 rt or pc running uh, in 8.1 uh, sustaining mode so but uh this is the windows minimum version 1709 is the perfect version but microsoft write on his document it can go with the 8.1 but these are not in the production nowadays now windows 10 uh, ltsc 
2019 and 2021 enterprise and iot enterprise editions if you have if not windows 10 and 11 all the version it will support but it should be the 1709 version now here is a apple ios uh, 14 version and the letter uh, if you are using the apple devices and apple ios pad 14 version and the mac version is 11 and the letter if you use the android devices it should have the android version 8.0 and letter including the samsung knox standard 3.0 uh, and higher and the android enterprise if you have the android enterprise then the, all these version will support if you use the linux so uh, ubuntu desktop 22.04 version should be there uh, with a Xiaomi graphical desktop environment then you can support this or 20 and the 22 version so guys this is the uh, OS supported version when you are enrolling the device so you can just make it remember this now here is a Intune supported device so Microsoft uh, this Intune can be accessed through the Microsoft Edge and uh, Safari and chrome the latest version and uh, okay i write it two times so is the chrome microsoft chrome microsoft as and the microsoft safari so all these versions can be supported uh to access your the browser now uh thank you guys to watching this video see you soon in my the part two where i will be covering up for your uh, user and device related interview questions and answers so see you soon in my next video